The Hudson River Tunnel Project received a $292 million grant, according to President Joe Biden. The much-debated new train tunnels under the Hudson River, which are vital to the country's economy, are finally scheduled to start construction. This is so that President Joe Biden could announce a roughly $300 million infrastructure award while in New York. Don't get your hopes up, but almost all of the elected officials at the gathering on Tuesday said something along the lines of the train is finally leaving the station. Since 2035 is the most recent completion estimate and estimations in New York frequently resemble guesstimates, it won't be finished in a flash. The tunnel's construction is essentially failing 113 years after it first opened for commerce. The ceiling is dripping. The ground is sagging. It was also severely harmed by Superstorm Sandy added Biden. The president, who is referred to as Amtrak Joe in the capital since he commuted daily from Washington to Delaware for many years, emphasized why it is urgently necessary to repair the deteriorating North River tunnels under the Hudson because they are vital to the country's economy. The tunnels carry up to 20% of the nation's gross domestic product. The American economy would lose $100 million a day if this connection were to shut down even for one day, according to Biden. The president was in attendance to declare a $292 million award from the massive, bipartisan infrastructure bill, which will pay for half of the construction of a so-called box tunnel connecting the new gateway tunnels to Penn Station. Given that the project's total cost is currently estimated to be more than $16 billion, you may describe it as the first modest step. Senator Chuck Schumer, though, argued that it is essential. It slices through solid Manhattan bedrock to provide the entry site of the two new underwater train tunnels that will serve as the project's focal point. This is the initial and vital beginning point of Gateway, but it's also one of the hardest sections of Gateway, Schumer said.